Welcome to Wonder Slate by Smart eBooks from the best publishers. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. The topic for today's quiz is human memory. Question number one: Which one of them is not a component of working memory given by Baddeley? Option A: The central executive. Option B: Phonological loop. Option C: Control processes. Option D: Visual spatial sketch pad. The correct answer is option C. Control processes. Control processes is not a component of working memory given by Baddeley. Baddeley gave three components of working memory, which include the phonological loop, the central executive, and visual spatial sketch pad. Question number two: Who proposed the levels of processing model? Option A. Atkinson and Schifrin. Option B. Baddeley. Option C. Crack and Lockhart. Option D. Alan Collins and Ross Quillian. The correct answer is option C. Crack and Lockhart. The levels of processing model was proposed by Crack and Lockhart in 1972. Question number three. Which of the following is the method used for memory measurement? Option A. Priming. Option B. Sentence verification task. Option C. Free recall and recognition. Option D. All of the above. The correct answer is option D. All of the above. Free recall and recognition. Sentence verification task and priming methods are used for memory measurement. Question number four. Which of these stages of the memory process are in correct order? Option A. Encoding, retrieval, storage. Option B. Storage. Retrieval and encoding. Option C. Retrieval, storage and encoding. Option D. Encoding, storage and retrieval. The correct answer is option D. Encoding, storage and retrieval. Encoding is the first stage of memory. Storage is the second stage of memory and retrieval is the third stage of memory. Thus, the correct answer is D. Question number five. The first model of memory, known as the, it was proposed by Atkinson and Schifrin in 1968. Option A: Levels of processing model. Option B: Stage model. Option C: Dual coding hypothesis. Option D: Working memory model. The correct answer is option B: Stage model. The first model of memory is known as the stage model. It is proposed by Atkinson and Schifrin in 1968. As per this model, information passes through three memory stores, namely sensory memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. Question number six: Rehearsal simply maintains information through repetition, and when such repetitions discontinue, the information is lost. Option A: Elaborative. Option B: Practice. Option C: Maintenance. Option D, memory. The correct answer is option C, maintenance. Maintenance rehearsal involves repetition of the information for as long as it is needed. When the information is no longer needed or practiced, it fades away. Question number seven. Sigmund Freud was of the view that memories which were too painful, embarrassing, and threatening get into the unconscious to protect the person from feeling difficult emotions. Option A, stored. Option B, suppressed. Option C, repressed. Option D, forgotten. The correct answer is option C, repressed. Sigmund Freud was of the view that memories which were too painful, embarrassing, and threatening get repressed. Repression is an unconscious process in which difficult memories of the past are involuntarily repressed into the unconscious. Question number eight. The capacity of short-term memory can be increased using option A, amnesia; option B, chunking; option C, meditation; option D, method of loci. The correct answer is option B, chunking. The capacity of short-term memory can be increased using chunking. Chunking is a process by which individual pieces of an information set are broken down and then grouped together in a meaningful whole. Question number nine: 
which of these statements about long-term memory are correct? I. Episodic memory contains memories relating to our personal life experiences. 2. One major classification within long-term memory is that of episodic and semantic. 3. Implicit memory is a kind of memory that a person is not aware of. 4. Procedural memory is the memory of general awareness and knowledge. Option A. I. And. 4. Option B. 2. And. 3. Option C. I. And. 3. Option D. 3. And. 4. The correct answer is. Option C. I. And. 3. Episodic memory contains memories relating to the personal biographical instances from a person's life. Implicit memory contains memories and experiences which are outside our conscious awareness. Thus, option C is the correct answer. Question number 10. Which of these are the correct causes of forgetting? I. Forgetting due to lack of practice. 2. Forgetting due to trace decay. 3. Forgetting due to accident. 4. Forgetting due to interference. Choose the correct option. Option A. I. And. 3. Option B. 2. And. 3. Option C. 2. And. 4. Option D. 3. And. 4. The correct answer is. Option C. 2. And. 4. The correct causes of forgetting are forgetting due to trace decay and forgetting due to interference. Question number 11. Which of these is not a mnemonic device? I. Rote learning. 2. The keyword method. 3. The method of loci. 4. Schema choose the correct option. Option A. I. And. 3. Option B. 2. And. 3. Option C. 2. And. 4. Option D. 3. And. 4. The correct answer is. Option C. 2. And. 4. The keyword method and the method of loci are not mnemonic devices. Question number 12. Priyanka learned how to make tea from her father when she was just 8 years old. Now, she's 23. She makes tea every day for herself without even thinking about it in an effortless manner. This example demonstrates which type of long-term memory? Option A. Episodic memory. Option B. Autobiographical memory. Option C. Declarative memory. Option D. Procedural memory. The correct answer is. Option D. Procedural memory. This example demonstrates procedural memory type of long-term memory. Procedural memory refers to implicit memories relating to procedures for accomplishing various tasks and skills, such as making tea or swimming. Question number 13. Nachiket is 18-year-old and is talking to a friend about their childhood. He realizes that he does not remember events which occurred before the age of 4 years. This phenomenon is known as Option A. Traumatic Amnesia Option B. Childhood Amnesia Option C. Repression Option D. Forgetfulness The correct answer is Option B. Childhood Amnesia This phenomenon is known as Childhood Amnesia. It is a phenomenon in which people find it difficult or impossible to remember memories from age before 4 or 5. Question number 14. Aditi, who is a 28-year-old singer, suddenly decides to move to a different city. She starts calling herself by the name Smriti and applies for a job as a business accountant. She completely leaves behind her life as Aditi and does not even remember it. Her problem is known as Option A. Amnesia. Option B. Memory disorder. Option C. Identity crisis. Option D. Fugue state. The correct answer is. Option D. Fugue state. Aditi's problem is known as fugue state. Some people may experience a fugue state which often results from past traumatic experience. In order to mentally escape them, People unconsciously discard their present identity and assume a totally different personality, and may move to a different place altogether. Question number 15. Assertion. A. Information that enters the short-term memory store fades away quickly if not rehearsed. Reason. R. 
the short term memory store has a capacity to hold new information for as long as 30 seconds before it is forgotten. Option A. Both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. Option B. Both A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A. Option C. Both A and R are false. Option D. A is false and R is true. The correct answer is. Option A. Both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. Short term memory is the second system of memory after sensory memory. It has slightly more space to retain information as compared to the sensory memory but less than that of the long term memory. Thus, both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. Question number 16. Assertion A. Simply repeating a piece of information can ensure that it gets stored in the long term memory. Reason R. Elaborative rehearsal involves deep level processing which is important for long term retention of that information. Option A. Both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. Option B. Both A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A. Option C. Both A and R are false. Option D. A is false and R is true. The correct answer is. Option D. A is false and R is true. Simple repeating information, maintenance rehearsal, does not guarantee that it will be stored in long term memory. Elaborative rehearsal involves associating the new information with already existing information. This leads to deeper processing and long term retention. Thus, A is false and R is true. Question number 17. Assertion A. Some memories are like photographs taken with a camera. Some instances stay in our memory in the form of a vision or image with vivid details. Reason R. This is because human memory is flawless as it can remember each and every detail from birth to death. Option A. Both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. Option B. Both A and backslash mathrim R backslash are true. But R is not the correct explanation of A. Option C. Both A and R are false. Option D. A is false and R is true. The correct answer is. Option C. Both A and R are false. Both A and R are false because memories do exist in the form of images of a particular time event in one's life. However, human memory is not flawless, as it is prone to decay and decline as one grows old. Also, memories before the age of 4 are hard and sometimes impossible to remember due to childhood amnesia. Question number 18. Assertion A. Forgetting can only occur because the memory traces decay over time and retrieval cues do not play an important role in recall. Reason R. Retrieval cues are aids which help us in recovering information stored in the memory. Option A. Both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. Option B. Both A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A. Option C. Both A and R are false. Option D. A is false and R is true. The correct answer is. Option D. A is false and R is true. Forgetting can occur not only because the memory traces have decayed over time, as suggested by the disuse theory or because independent sets of stored associations interfere at the time of recall, as suggested by the interference theory, but also because at the time of recall, either the retrieval cues are absent or they are inappropriate. Thus, A is false and R is true. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.